Folks, as we consider, continue to hum along, um, it gives me great pleasure to introduce um, the actresses of the film. We'll, try, we'll start with Rotem Abuhab. Rotem, please join us. Thank you. And please welcome Neta Riskin. Welcome back, Neta Riskin. And to lead this conversation, I thought it was only appropriate, uh, Yara Kedem, our Associate Director of uh, the Zabar Film Center here at the JCC, will lead the conversation. Thank you, Yara. Folks, um, please um, enjoy. Keep your questions short as we're short on time. We have another film starting here soon. And I'll hand things over to Yara. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, thank you so much, uh, Rotem and Neta, for being here. Um, this was uh, a fabulous film, and I think all of us uh, have come out of it um, on a very sentimental note. Um, I think we don't see a lot of, of Israeli films exactly with this kind of sentimentality um, and connection and heart these days. Um, so thank you so much for being part of it and being here with us. Um, I would like to actually ask you, Rotem, um, you are a comedic act actress. I don't know if uh, you are familiar with all of Rotem's work because she has gone very far throughout her career. Um, she started as a comedian. She's a stand-up comedian. I remember watching you um, when I was little in Domino. Um, I used to watch her, her sketches on TV um, in, the, in the weekends. And, um, and this is a very, very different part. This is something that, um, that has, 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 has very different layers of depth to it. Um, can you tell us how do you connect to this? Uh, I, hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very happy to be here in a JCC Festival in New York. Um, my English is not so well. Uh, actually, it's very bad. <laughs> um, so I'm very happy. Uh, I will be happy to answer your questions, but in Hebrew. And who knows Hebrew here? Good. Good. Like home. Good. So if uh, somebody uh, didn't understand me, Neta can uh, translate, Umrim? Yes, you're, you have a great English. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can understand me if I uh, speak in English. Hey, Hebrew? No. In Hebrew, yes. Somebody translate me. OK. אז את שאלת אותי איך התחברתי לתפקיד? So, כן. Okay. It's okay, we will uh, translate. אני אענה ואת תתרגמי, אוקיי? Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, אני מתנצלת, אני צריכה לדבר בשפה שאני יכולה להתבטא הכי טוב. Uh, אני באמת באתי מקומדיה, uh, קומדי, uh, <laughs> ועשיתי תפקידים דרמטיים לפני כן, אבל uh, ניר ברגמן, the director, עובד איתי מאוד מאוד טוב, יש לנו קשר מאוד מאוד טוב. So Rotem has done um, uh, comedic roles before, but she has uh, and also dramatic roles uh, as part of her career, but she had a very good connection with Nir Bergman, the director. במאי טוב בעיניי זה במאי שיודע להצליח להגיע ללב של השחקן שלו, וניר אצלי הגיע לנקודה המאוד רגישה הזאת. Uh, a good director is uh, someone who really can get to the heart of their actors. Um, and he managed to do that um, with Rotem. I worked very much It's the opposite of me. Uh, she's a single uh, mother. I have three children, I have three girls. I'm a woman אני עם בעלי מגיל 21, אני מאוד מאוד שונה ממנה, ולקחתי משהו מאוד מאוד מופנם רציתי להביע, אני מקווה שהצלחתי, נראה לי שבסדר. I think you could understand, understand part of that. Um, so the character is very different um, from, from you. Um, it's, uh, it's a single mother, she is also very stern, very serious, and you have three children. Um, so you, you feel like you managed to reach something that is uh, very deep, working inside out. Um, and, and that's where that came from. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wonderful. Um, Neta, 
<laughs> Hi. Um, so I don't know if you know this, but uh, Neta is actually starring in three of our films in the festival. Um, we had our premiere last night um, with the film Shelter, um, and now she's here with Saving Neta, and she will be um, also presenting the film Longing. So you are actually the festival star right now. This is basically, we surrounded our films around you. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, you, you do many different roles, many different parts. We saw you in a bit of a thriller yesterday. Um, what is it like? What was the process like? How is it different from other movies you were in? Okay, so each, of course, each... Hi. It's, hi, again. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, each, every director works very differently. And Nir, it's, it's what Rotem just said, is... Uh, uh, it's a very it's a very emotional process with him, and it's a, in a good way. I mean, he he wears you out, but you feel uh, um, as if you've been clarified, if it's, as if you've been uh, I don't know to heart. I don't. Uh, purification, yeah, purification yeah, emotional purification so but what we did here and that was a that was a very interesting process is that it's four stories i did not read any of the other stories because um uh, he wanted each movie to have its own language and that we won't know what's happening because that's just the, the real life of the movie. I don't know about Dahlia and Dahlia doesn't know that I exist and he didn't want us to speak the same film language. The f so so I had absolutely no idea what the movie was about. Yeah. So only in the premiere I found out that suddenly he said, someone said it's about parenthood. Now I had absolutely no idea it was about parenthood because for me it was about a million other things but that. So, um, and it was a very interesting thing because in our own life, we don't know what we're acting in. I mean, we don't know what's the theme of Bigger our story. Picture. Yeah. So I did not know it and he never told me. And uh, a lot of the, a lot of the scenes we, we improvised. He likes working with a lot of improvisations and... Uh... I understand what you say now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very good. And it's important to say that we've been watching the series for a year. Ah, yeah. It's very important. The film... Uh, we didn't... How do we say we've been watching? We shot the film we, in the we shot, course we of a year. So, uh, so, yeah. חלק צולם, החלק שלי צולם בחורף, החלק, חלק אחד צולם באביב, חלק אחד בסתיו וחלק אחד בקיץ ומי שטיפה מבין בעשייה של קולנוע דבר מאוד מאוד uh, לא שגרתי אף פעם uh, לא יוצאים לסרט uh, לצילומים uh, בחלקים כאלה בדרך כלל מתחילים סרט ומסיימים אותו חודש חודשיים הפקה מסתיימת פה כל פעם היה צריך להתניע מחדש היה צריך לצלם את זה וככה השחקנים גם לא נפגשו, לא, לא, לא ידענו מה הולך. No, each other, we, we never met, we never talked about anything, so it was... Uh... Just to catch everybody up, so um, what you're saying is really, this was filmed throughout an entire year, the same as the film itself. Yeah. It's almost um, parallel to the time the film is shown, um, focusing on each season. So each season, you, each of your stories would meet, would shoot your own part, and then you would continue... Um, Later that year with the rest of the shoot. Very, very uh, extraordinary way. The actor needs to be thin. Had to lose weight and then to... Yes. Yeah. Um, I think it's definitely apparent the, the amount of, um, of detail that's in this film. Uh, exactly with uh, the character of Neta, um, changing his look, um, the way that each part of you is really, each part in the film is very, very different. Um, I think there also, this film could be interpreted in so many ways. I think every person watching it, the same as you connected it to it um, with the, your own way, can also um, experience something of, its own, of their own um, and maybe see their characters in a different way um, than you feel about them or than other people feel about them. Do you, did you receive any instructions from Neil in the direction of what he wanted to achieve, of what he wanted uh, the goal to be? Um, the message of the film? Okay, so um, I, I can, okay, I, I can talk about the, the casting process that I, because I, first of all, my sister was uh, casted, Dandan, um, and um, the reason I, that later on I, I know the reason they casted me was that I wasn't nice to her. 
That's that was the. <laughs> they said he said you were the only one who came in, into the room who wasn't nice to your retarded sister, and was not patient. And he said, and then there was drama because when everyone was nice to her, then I didn't have a story. So he all the time we talked about the challenge of having, let's say, a, a, a lead role or a main act, a main role that is not a, it's not she's not a nice person and still you have to connect to, to identify with her and to know her story behind her walls and her um, um, defenses and all this so you still need to have we need we we wanted to find the cracks in which you can get inside her and see where she comes from and what's her story although she's definitely not not someone who is approachable or not um and how is that for you um sort of extending the relationship outside the screen to the screen um i'm sure it brought out a lot of things in you that maybe you connected to from real life was it very uh, for uh, it's it's uh, i think for, for me it was about to as i said i did not know it was about parenthood for me it was about um a person who te- who reinvents his story she reinvented herself far away she thinks this whole place is provincial she ran away from there she doesn't want and her past haunts her and brings her you know she tries to to get out and they pull her back in so uh she doesn't want to be there and also there's another thing that i think that that's that was my connection to the story and i think a lot of people can identify with is that sometimes you feel your family is contagious i mean there's a certain Uh, uh, quality or gesture or a feature in, in that you just detest you cannot see and you're really afraid you have it within you and let's say you have a, a, a crazy mom and you're all the time checking yourself that you're not crazy like her so I think she's really terrified of having something from her sister in her in herself or Or she wants to take her daughters far away from there, so it she won't she won't be infected by it. So I think that that was the part for me, you know, so it was about sisterhood and about this really contagious thing inside the family. Uh, we have time for you, and then we'll open it for the audience. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little story. Interesting. I don't know, but please, we, we, yes. we'd love to. I'll tell you the story that's more interesting. Before half a year, six months ago, my son, David, had a lot of pain. And he took it to the doctor and he said that it's a virus. Virus is a word that everyone knows. And I felt like it's not a virus. והלכתי איתו, ויום אחרי זה הוא כבר היה לו קשה לקום uh, מהמיטה, כאבים ממש רציניים, תרגמי להם כי זה מטור, זה רוצה לשמור על המטח. כן, אני רוצה לשמור על המטח, כן, תרגמי להם. אז רותם סאן הוקה ואו היה לו פעם, והיא אמרה, או, זה וירוס, מה שאתם כבר הבנתם. Um, and then uh, she she realized afterwards it was getting so painful no it's not a virus it's something more serious so אז לקחתי אותו ל- ל- למיון לבית חולים איכילוב זה היה בחמש בבוקר, five in the morning, ועושים לו בדיקה והרופא אומר שזה אפנדציד וצריך לנתח אותו. So they, they, she took him to the hospital, five o'clock in the morning, um, the doctor comes in and tells him um, it's appendicitis and he needs to go through an operation. ובעודנו מחכים לניתוח, שיתפנה חדר ניתוח, נכנס למיון ניר ברגמן, הבמאי של הסרט הזה, עם הבן שלו As they're waiting to go into the operation, Nir Bergman, the director of this wonderful film, walks into the uh, emergency room or the operation room yeah. with his son. And he says, what are you doing here? I said, David, there's a little appendicid for a minute. And both of us are standing here, and we understand that it's very strange that he's here, that my son is a real one, he's going to the operation for an appendicid. And that's how we ended up. את הסרט באמת, כאילו הגענו לאיזה התרה בקשר של במאי שחקנית בסרט הזה. So I'll just wrap up the uh, what happened. So... <laughs> בעברית אני מתבטאת מצוין חמודה. <laughs> Um, she found out that Neil was there with the same condition with his son while she was there when they were both simulating the story from the film. So that was 
tying everything up together um, and also having... Now you say the word Hattara, I see. She challenges me here. Who can say what Hattara is in English? Catharsis. Closure. Closure. Oh, Closure. There we go. Closure. 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 It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, no. Amazing. Um, we're going to open the questions up to the audience. Um, uh, we're going to pass on the mic. Uh, we don't have that much time because we have another film starting very soon. Uh, but if you have any questions, please raise your hand. We'll uh, hand over the mic to you. Second. Just a second. Up there. Sorry, can you just go for a start from the beginning? Um, is it possible in English? In English, okay. Yeah, I wanted so to just, well, understand. I just wa wanted to speak to the actresses, yeah, anyway. But I wanted to know um, if you could talk a little bit about the message of the picnic story. Um, I, I, you know, I didn't quite get it. It was, it was a lot more, um, I, I would say it's very abstract, abstract than yeah. let's say in the other three stories. Well, the, I think so. the, the, the answer is that the things that make, make us have, uh, make us change our life are very minor. They just, it's things that we we see on the way. We don't think they're big. It's not life changing events, but it's small things that we, the encounters we have with different people that bring us into a, a big change in our lives. And I think that's what the movie is about. It's about very very small encounters that we never thought are going to be life changing, and they are. Yeah, she just she you know some someone cared for him. For for a cert for a certain for a slight moment in his life, someone told him not. Someone saw him and cared for him. This is not my story, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have time for a couple more questions. Oh, sorry, we ran out of time. Um, thank you so much thank for being here much. with us. You're absolutely thank lovely. You. Thank you for being here. Um, folks, some important instructions. We're actually going to feed you now. Um, there's a reception going on upstairs in the lobby. If you walk, there's about 100 people waiting to come into this uh, theater. What you want to do is walk up to the stage.